Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at uh, some geometry nodes and see how we can do something like this. It's just a way to populate uh, any text or mesh with, uh, uh, with some random object inside it, uh, like you see uh, what you're doing here, and uh, maybe you can use it to make some simple animations of uh, something like this. Uh, this would be very hard to do if you're using the particle system, but uh, because of the new geometry nodes, our system uh, this is very simple and uh, you will see that we're only going to do it in a few nodes uh, less than 10 uh, less than actually five uh, these are just uh, a duplicate of the same thing uh, let me just get a new project here and uh, we should get started I'm going to start with a text and let me just type in a three like this uh, so of now geometry nodes only work with meshes so we won't be able to add any nodes so let me just move to geometry nodes here and see that uh, if I try to add a new uh, geometry group I, I can add it on a text object so I need to convert this into a mesh object so that I can get this to work now the first thing we're going to do is uh, distribute some points around this object so what we can do is add shift a point uh, we can start with a point instancing uh, which is simply going to instance our different objects around uh, this object so I can uh, connect the geometry to this and then connect this to this and the, now the object is going to disappear because it's not is because we don't have any instance object so I'm just going to add in a cube here just add some subdivisions and apply this shade small this is going to apply as this is going to be our instance so let me go back to the text and I select that as my instance right now you can see that uh, these are very large so I can go back to the instance object and either scale that down or just hit apply scale uh, to get the scale uh, scaled down or you can do this in edit mode uh, to scale this down like that if you don't want to do this directly onto the object all you have to do is select uh, the text and uh, add a point scale between here and uh, that should help you scale down or scale up the uh, the particles uh, right now uh, the distribution of this is uh, on every vertex uh, if you look at this you can see that uh, each point has been added to every vertex we have but I want these to be randomly distributed like in the example uh, here so what I'm going to do is uh, add a point scale so not actually a point scale uh, we can add a attribute attribute randomize uh, so that we can randomize the position and uh, if you look at uh, the spreadsheet here let's see if I can get that you can see that uh, we have a position we have the position of every uh, vertex of this so we can randomize that as uh, by adding an, an attribute randomization so if I do if I add a position here the position attribute here I can randomize that just uh, because the position is a uh, as a vector you need to make sure that this is also set uh, to a vector uh, that way we can start randomizing that like that now we uh, the randomization is too high so I'm just going to bring this down just a bit and uh, I can just add instead of rep right now we, we were using repress so we are rep re replacing all these values by the random value that is being generated by this node uh, but uh, instead of doing that let's just add whatever value is generated here to the position value here so let's get something small so something like this um, I also want to randomize the scale a bit so I'm just going to bring this in and add an attribute randomize now this time we want to randomize the scale so I'm just going to add in that scale value here you can see we're already seeing some random scales like so now the problem is that we don't have enough particles here so what I'm going to do is add add in a point distribute node and uh, this is going to help us uh, distribute more uh, give us control over the distribution of particles so the more number I add here the more particles we're going to get and uh, this is also dependent on the scale on the actual scale of this mesh so if I scale this you can see more particles are being added in 
So we can multiply this by something like five to get more particles. And I can also uh, play around with the random scale here just so we get some randomization. I'm also going to increase the volume of this by just extruding it so that we have some thickness to it. And uh, if you're happy with these particles, but I think you need more particles inside, uh, you can also duplicate this part here. Uh, I think, yeah, around here, Shift D. If I play with this, I can change the scale of these. Maybe we have larger particles, but uh, less of them so that we don't have many of them. Something like, yeah, we want some really large particles blended with other small particles. Again, we are getting here. I mean, we can in even reduce these, the scale of these. Uh, this, where is the random scale attribute? Uh, something like this. Now to join these two, you can just add a geometry, join geometry, and then connect one to the other. Then this should help us. Now we have that. I can now increase the density of these ones here. And now we are good to go. Everything else is uh, now has to do with the materials and they're just tricking some settings uh, to get it to the way you want it to look. And uh, you can even animate this. If I go to edit mode, you can see when I move these around or when I scale them around, you can see the particles change as well. So I can add, if I have everything selected, I can add a hook uh, to all of these by using Ctrl H. And uh, now I can scale this down. If I can animate this, to disappear by basically scaling this down to zero and then yeah so something like that so you can make a quick countdown like that and maybe we should do that so if i have let's see another text if you have another text uh, let's say um, five four three two one that's our countdown and I'll convert this to a mesh like that and uh, add this node setup. So let me see if I can add that new. Okay. So we have that. Now, if I hook each of these to their own hook, control H, I can unmade this and I uh, can also get this here, control H. So each of these can have their own whole control H and uh, this as well, control H and uh, this here as well, control H. So you can select everything here and uh, let me bring back, bring my timeline and get my timeline, timeline, timeline. Can keyframe this. and uh, scale this down, something like that. And uh, all I have to do now is uh, clear the positions so that I can move them on top of each other. So if I get, come here, just get, I only need to animate the scale. I don't really care about the, the positions. So I'm just going to get rid of those position keyframes so that I can move uh, these freely. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Just hang on a bit so I can come in here, get rid of the scale and rotation keyframes for these. Get rid of all of that. Okay, now we don't have any position keyframes, so that means I can move these, these freely into position like that. So what I'm going to do is just select all the, just select one of these uh, empties or hooks, shift S cursor selected so that my cursor is there. And now I can select the rest of the hooks. Then I think it's shift, uh, shift S selection to cursor so that they all move there. Now you can see they expand 
at the same time. Now what I can do now is uh, offset these keyframes so that uh, we go one by one. So I can bring this to around here. Offset this to start like so, like so. So that we see one number at a time. You can see now we are starting with five, then four, then three, and then two. One mistake I made maybe was uh, I, I would have to make sure that, uh, let me first undo this for a second. You can scale this back again in. Let me just limit my keyframing here. Uh, instead of keying everything, let me just key just just key only the scale. So I need all the empties again. And then let's get rid of this. Scaled back again like that. Again, get rid of these position keyframes. I only need the scale keyframes. Something like that, so. Yeah, so. Again, now all we are left with is that to offset these keyframes. I think we should reduce some of this. It's going to bring this closer, something like that. So now we can offset uh, these keyframes. So this can start around there. This can start so we have five, four, three. Yeah, so if you spend more time on this, you can even get better results than what I'm getting here. Uh, maybe let's increase on the distribution of the smaller particles here. We'll just go here on the density of the smaller particles. Maybe even increase uh, their mass, ma maximum scale just a bit so we can see. So we have a five, then a four, then a three. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.